Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will use arrays for the factor four. We're gonna start with four times one. That means we need four rows with one in each row. We can label that as four times one. Let's count one, two, three, four. The product is four. Four times two means four rows with two in each row. Let's draw it out and label that four times two. Let's count five, six, seven, eight. Four times two equals eight. Four times three means we have four rows of three. Let's label it four times three, and now we can count them all up. We know we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So four times three equals 12. Let's try four times four. That means we need four rows of four. Let's label that four times four. And now let's count it up. We have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the product is 16. Four times five means four rows of five. Let's draw five in each row. Let's go ahead and label that four times five. And now let's count them up. We have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Four times six means four rows of six. Let's draw that out. Now let's go ahead and label that four times six. And now let's count 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. The product is 24. Four times seven means four rows of seven in each row. Let's label that four times seven and let's count up 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. The product is 28. Four times eight means four rows of eight. Let's draw that out and label it four times eight. Now we're gonna count 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Four times nine means four rows with nine in each row. Let's draw it and label it four times nine. Let's count up 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. The product is 36. Four times 10 means four rows of 10. Let's draw that and label it four times 10. Let's go ahead and count up 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Four times 11 means four rows of 11 in each row. Let's draw it and label it four times 11. Now we count up 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. The product is 44. Four times 12 means four rows of 12 in each row. So we label that four times 12. Let's count up 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. The product is 48. <laughs> 